Welcome back, everybody, to Santa Fe Fashion Week's YouTube channel. We met before. I'm Stephen Cuomo, executive producer of Santa Fe Fashion Week. So, if you watch some of my other videos, you realize that um, Netflix is here in Albuquerque, and the film industry is really huge. And so, what we do here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, is every Friday we meet here at my eBay store, and we do a thing called scene study. So, I hope you uh, enjoy this episode. Thank you so much. Hey guys. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Cool. So what did, you, what did you bring us today, Dave? Well, I got a couple of scenes from uh, the second Lovable Rogue Mysteries book. This is called The Polo Mallet Murders. Um, last week, you know, we were working on subtext, and we had a script that had a lot of you know subtext in it. This week, um, these scenes are, have to do more with um, understanding who the character is. So they're they're, it's, they're scenes where with the, when the viewer looks at it, they should then get some idea of who these people are. So it's not, these, these scenes are not like diving deep into what's going on behind the surface. It's basically, who are these characters? And what I want to approach it this week is, I'm not going to tell you about the book yet or what, what's going on. Like, you know, just read the, the script and then uh, like to get your opinions then of what what you think each character is like what 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 they you know what makes them tick type of thing and then we can go into the background you know the backstory and all that and then you can do a second time through it knowing all of that but first let's just see what we can get for out of the characters thank you and two characters helen and winston and as it's see in the top that you know this is a polo match it actually was a tournament and this is a victory celebration after after it's over and uh helen who is the wife of the can i ask a question yes when you say subtext do you yeah. mean that like the action no subtext is is oh. what goes on like someone says i really like you but what's really it really means is I really hate you. You know, there's this the oh, thing okay. behind the, the okay. scene of like, what does it really mean? There's stuff on the surface, but underneath Subliminal there's something boiling intention. going on, right? This one is basically more of, okay, who is Helen? What what kind of character is there? And who is Winston? What what kind of character traits does he have? So um, And we're also figuring out their relationship together? Yeah, just read through it and I, I'd like to get your opinions and what you think. And then we can build on that, and I'll give you the backstory. Right. So, um, yeah. So this is this just won the tournament, and the, the polo team celebrating. Winston's watching the celebration because uh -huh. they're all friends of his. And Helen, who's a friend of his, comes up to him. So. Are you? Uh, well, he's finally won it. Why, well, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Winston. We're in Amari this season, I see. Oh, you noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? And. Hey. Tour. It's <laughs> French. <laughs> and Hunty, counter. Haute Couture. Haute Couture. Haute Couture, okay. Yeah. Uh, and Haute Couture at that. Well, of course. Would you expect me to anything less from me? No. You always spot sport a quite classes. Chassis. Or chassis. Yeah. Oh, Winston. <laughs> Up touching. You always know the right words to say. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have missed it for all the Clarice and Pouillac. Pouillac. You're the only man I know who would come up with a line like that. You're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. Well, I suppose he'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he is one fine old. Player. Among other things. 
very curious. Okay, so what do you think of Helen's character? What kind of... I think she's the wife of somebody playing a game and she's a little bit of a sleazebag. Okay. And Winston? The only thing I can like get out of like Winston is that I'm, he's like kind of a chill dude, not really doing much of anything, just uh, enjoying the game or just, uh, just uh, having a good time. Okay. So the story here is that uh, this is set in San Francisco, mm. and there's a fictional pole tournament, and all the teams, the pole teams, are comprised of people who work for corporations. Mm. So it's like the CEO, all the high officers of corporations play this. So no profession, and there's supposed to be no professionals. These are all just people who work for the company. Mm -hmm playing on these teams. And Cap, Caspian, Helen's husband, mm. has is the head of the company, although Helen really runs the company. He he's the the figurehead, sort of. But his his passion is polo. And he's wanted to win this tournament forever. And they're really playing polo, it's not They're virtual. really playing polo. Okay. This is real horse type polo. Mm. And uh his secret weapon is a guy named Pico Alvarez. Well, Pico Alvarez. In polo, they rank your ability by goal. So if you're a 10-goal polo player, you are the best you can possibly be. Right. Pico is a 10-goal polo player. Now, the other team is a, led by a guy named Jeremy Kemp, who wants to win it just as bad. But he thinks Pico shouldn't be on the team because he doesn't think Pico is a real executive of the team he thought he thinks that cap brought him in just to be on the team and he's not mm -hmm. really truth is pico's a financial genius and he does deserve it but jeremy thinks that that cap's pulling him pulling one on him and shouldn't he sh pico shouldn't be on the team mm -hmm. there are fair rumors that helen is having an affair with pico right that's kind of right so <laughs> <laughs> yeah then what happens is in this in the the tournament, Jeremy goes after Pico and does a very dangerous move, mm. right? So that's that's not cool. But in the end, Cap team, thanks to Pico's brilliant play, wins, and so they win the tournament. They win the championship, and so this scene takes place after that, and so in Winston, <clears throat> Winston is he's the lovable rogue. His name is Winston Churchill, but he's not related to that Winston Churchill. <laughs> yeah. He's he's a man of taste. He wears great fine clothes. He's a true gentleman in every aspect, except he does a few things that are not quite legal. So that's the roguish part of him. Mm. So when we, and so that's why he uses these these big words like this French word, haute couture, right? Haute that means high fashion. And he uh. uses Claret and Pouillac. Pouillac is a wine region in France. Mm -hmm. And so when he says, you know, all the Claret and Pouillac, there are very few people on this planet who would understand what he's talking about. Mm. Helen understands because she's also sophisticated. Right. So that's mm -hmm. so that's what's uh, going on in this scene. And um, so Winston is a friend, good friend of both Helen and Caps. And so he's there watching, he was there watching the tournament and he's so watching the celebration and in this scene, mm -hmm. Helen comes up to him and the, the really purpose of the scene is, is really to give some insight into who Helen is and give some insight as to who Winston is. And I so. I like that name, Cap Caspian. Yeah. Fun. So that's what's going on here. Um, and of course, you know, She's wearing Armani, mm -hmm. and mm. Winston, of course, he knows Armani because he's stylish. He's built, I built him as the world's most stylish detective nice. because he knows everything he, you know, about that and how to dress. So that's what's going on in this scene. And um, now that you know the backstory and all of this, do it, guess, again. Do it again. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> Action. Well, he's finally won it. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. We're in Armani of the season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? 
And Octor at that. Well, of course. Did you expect anything less from me? No. You always spot quite a chassis. A Winston touching. You always know the right words to say. Well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have missed it for all the clarinet and Puyak. Puyak. You're the only man I know who would come up with a line like that. You're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. Well, I suppose he'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he is one fine polo player. Among other things. So that last line is the charged mm. line. Mm -hmm. Because that is like... What other things? Right what other things is he good at? And especially in the backdrop that there's rumors Scoring that she's goals. having a relationship with with Pico, and then uh, uh, yeah. you know this little thing about you know the only person to come up with a line like that, and you're the only woman who could understand it. You know this little banter in this scene. Helen is kind of flirting with with Winston. I went. Yeah. Did you say he's very well liked, right? Winston is very well liked. So I was like being. I was trying to be his pal. And, yeah. but in this scene, that Helen's flirtiness comes, this, comes She's this, flirting this with Winston too. She's flirting, okay. with, flirting with Winston too. I need to do it differently then. So yeah, Winston. it's, it's, um, so Helen, yeah, Helen enjoys the company of men. And, cool. Uh, I'm sure. And Winston, Winston would never have, a, have an affair with Helen, because she's married to his friend Cap. So, so Winston is the always the upright person, but Helen would love to like you know maybe go a little bit more than friendship. So when when they're together, there's always this chemistry. There's always this thing where she's there's always a little bit of flirtiness to her, and he's always ignoring it for good reason. You rogue. Have to try so, no, okay. oh, do it again. Okay. Okay, action. Well, he's finally won it. Well, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too, Winston. We're in a Marnie this season, I see. Well, you noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? And how couture at that? Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No, no. You always spot quite a chess. Winston, so touching. You always know the right words to say. Well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. Mm. I wouldn't have missed it for all of the clarinet and Payak. You're the only man I know who'd come up with a line like that. <laughs> and you're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. Oh. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course. If it wasn't for Pico. Yes, indeed. He is one fine polo player. Among other things. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, Winston, when he says, Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. He's really genuinely pleased to see her. Mm. So put a little more into that. Like, wow, well, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. I mean, you're... Oh. They haven't seen each other in a little, a little while. Mm -hmm. He's seen her, and so when when she says, you know, he's finally won it, and you realize who it is, you're uh, happy to see yes. her. So you need to show some emotion that, you know, so like a little, you're happy. So like a little enthusiasm. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. I got this. So, and um, yeah. So and you can see it here in 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 the action, right? When the, when they first meet. She kisses him on the cheek, mm -hmm. but she lingers a little bit longer than you would if it was just casual, right? right? And then back here again, when she says, oh, how touching, you always know the right words to say, she kisses him on the cheek again, right? So this is, that's the, again. Her words and her actions are pretty are, flirty. Are flirty, yes. Oh, boy. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. All right. Want to try one more time? Yeah. Sure. 
and then we can let Stephen play when Stephen. There you go. Action. Well, he's finally won it. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. We're in a Marnie this season, I see. You noticed. If anyone would notice, it'd be you, wouldn't it? And hot couture at that. <laughs> well, of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No, no, you're always sport. Quite a chess. Oh, Winston, I'm touching. You always know just the right words to say. Well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have missed it for all the claret and Poyak. You're the only man I know that would come up with a line like that. You're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. I suppose it will be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he is one fine pole player. Among other things. Yeah. I, I have a question. When this when she says he'll be unbearable for weeks, I feel like that how how does that like what does she mean? Like if of course if it wasn't for Pico. Was like, well, it's like, you know, Cap's finally won it, so Cap's gonna be unbearable for the weeks because he's gonna be bragging about how he won the cup. But the only reason he won the cup is because Pico's talent. Okay. Right. And so it's like, yeah, he's won it, but if he didn't have Pico with him, he wouldn't have won it. And and then that just, and then again, Winston, uh, mm. ignoring the, the flirt, ignoring the overtones, right? Just says, oh, he's a great polo player, fine polo player. And then you just have to come in with them, mm, yeah, among other things. So you like the, right? the way I'm flirt, like, yeah. okay. And I think, you know, when it comes here, when, you yeah, know, yeah. And she kisses him again. Yeah. He doesn't react. So you jump into, well, I'm glad you could witness, right? So here she's she's flirting, There's trying to get get his just... attention. He he doesn't bite, right? So she at, at that point drops it, goes to, you know, he's finally won it. And then mm. you know, when when he says you like you're the only woman I know who can understand that line, that's real admiration. Right? Because mm. First of all, okay. you know, Winston came up with this line that nobody else would come up with. I mean, who would come up with a line like, I wouldn't have missed it for all the claret and poyak. Right? Yeah. Who says that? Except mm. someone totally sophisticated and kind of maybe a little full of themselves. But definitely, you know, someone who's worldly and, you know, knows a lot. Right. So, you know, but Helen recognizes that Winston's kind of special. So that's why she says, you're the only man I know that could come up with a line like that. And then you know that Helen is special, so there's real admiration. Like you're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. Yeah. Right? So, so it's like, you, you know, that's that's again. the only recognition that he has. You know, kind of giving you a compliment type of thing, and mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with sex or or flirting. It has to do with wine. Right? So, and then then you okay. So you you go like I suppose some variable weeks, which is back to the polo subject. But then mm -hmm. it's like okay, yeah. He won, but he wouldn't have won if it wasn't for Pico. Sure. And you're trying to get a rise out of Winston again. And Winston just doesn't bite. He says, yeah, he's a fine polo player. And then you have to go back to like, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> he's not only a fine polo player. He's fun at a few other things, too. And, and, and yeah. so that's... He's awesome. Yeah. All right. Okay, New Winston. New Winston. New Winston. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Action. Yes. Is my first dry run, so let's see. Yes. Well, it's finally won it. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. Wearing Amani this season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it'd be you, wouldn't it? And hot, hot couture, I should be able to say that. Yeah. And hot couture at that. Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No, you always sport quite a chassis. Oh, Winston. Touching. You always know just the right words to say. <sighs> well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. 
You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have missed it all. I wouldn't have missed it all for the clarity in. What is that? Poyak. Poyak. I should know that by now. Poyak. So all the claret, all the claret in Poyak. You're the only man I know who could come up with a line like that. You're you're the only woman I know that could understand a line like that. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course. If it wasn't for Pika. Yes, he's one fine polo player. Among other things. Cool. And the line where you're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. Emphasize understand. Like okay. you're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. Mm -hmm. right. So And you're still wearing your visitor tag. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's not just visiting here. No, no. <laughs> so, uh, cool. So, yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, you pick up in the top. Action. Well, he's finally won it. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. Wearing a money this season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? And hot Couture at that. Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? You know, you always sport quite a chassis. Oh, Winston, how touching. You always know just the right words to say. Well, I'm, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have missed it all. I, would, I wouldn't have missed it for all the claret in Poyak. You are the only man I know who could come up with a line like that. You're the only woman I know that could understand a line like that. I suppose it will be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he's one fine polo player. Among other things. <laughs> <laughs> That's me ad living. What did you say? <laughs> My glasses made you all fuzzy. No, I was like, of course you would. That's what, um, <laughs> some, little something, ho bag. Something, something smart ass. Rich little ho bag yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'd say quite that. Remember to emphasize, understand. Flirty. So my frame in there. I'm, I'm hoping. Are we, am I? Am I in there? Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. All, right, cool. all right. Cool. So any uh, any notes? Any thoughts? Uh, just remember to emphasize, understand, and that. You're the only woman I know. So how would I say that line? So uh, you're the only woman I know who could understand the line so like that. Right? Okay, cool. Because she's saying you're the only one who could come up with a line like that, and you're saying you're the only one that could understand the line like that. Right. I gotcha. Mm. That's Oof. that's part of the the admiration thing. Sweet. So, so uh, let's do it one more time. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Well, he's finally won it. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. Where are you you this season, I see? You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? And Hulk could sure at that. Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No. You always sport quite the chassis. Oh, Winston, how touching. You always know just the right words to say. Well, I'm glad uh, you were here to witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have had, I, I wouldn't have missed it all. The, oh, yeah. I wouldn't have missed it all, the claret in Poyak. You are the only man I know who could come up with a line like that. And you're the only woman I know that could understand a line like that. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he's one fine poyo. Poyo. <laughs> I, I, I got chicken it's on like my boy. I got, no, poyo. I got chicken <laughs> on my boy. Poyo. A poyo loco. Um, chicken player. Yeah, chicken player. Yeah. He's one chicken player. Among other. <laughs> yes, he's one <laughs> polo player. <laughs> Among other things. Nice. Nice. You go, girl. You go, girl. You want to go back in the hot seat? Uh, I have so uh, seen two two males, and two male? you could she could. Yeah, uh, I could be camera, camera man, camera person, camera person, person, person. Cool. Cool. Perfect. You guys.
perfectly fine. So tell us about this. Okay, day. so this scene is between a character named Tommy. Oh, and it says by Tommy David. Tommy Torrance. So you wrote this? Yeah, oh. I wrote this. This yeah. is also from the same book. Nice. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, Pico Alvarez is the guy. He's the first guy who gets killed. Okay. He's the he's the great ten gold polo player. Tommy is his assistant. He's the guy who takes care of his horses, all of his polo gear, says on the sidelines doing whatever. And he is dedicated to to Pico. Okay. He's also friendly with Helen because Helen and Pico, you know, are very close, rumors and stuff. So Tommy is is kind of like with Pico and with Helen. Okay. And so this is a scene where Winston had a clue, a cigarette lighter, okay. holder, cigarette holder. Okay. That was found in Pico's bed when they were examining him after the murder. And it's Helen's okay. cigarette light holder. Oh. So, mm. but it, just, someone breaks into Winston's house and steals it. The, the only clue. The, the only clue. Okay. The clue that could incriminate Helen. Oh. But I'm not gonna give away the story okay. because okay. of the okay. stuff. Okay. So this is, Winston goes and um, talks to Tommy about this. Okay. And what I'd like you to get out of this is trying to understand, tell me what Tommy's character is like. What do you think he is after okay. this? Okay. We already know what Winston's like from the last scene. Right. But from this one, you know, let's focus on who, what Tommy, who Tommy, Tommy is. is. So, you, so, so I'll be Winston, you'll be Tommy? Yeah, cool? I'll be Tommy. All right, cool. So we'll just do a cold read and then we'll break, yeah. break it down. Yeah. So, so Winston comes in uninvited to, to talk to Tommy. And Ooh. Okay. So, right. so let's so, so we'll read this. So Tommy pulls a chair from a dining table and sits down. He doesn't offer Winston a chair. Winston sits down on a worn sofa. Now, what do you want? Someone broke into my house last night and stole a valuable item. So? So I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Why would I know anything about it? Because one of the burglars looked a lot like you. Oh, so you you can see in the dark? I can see good enough. I told you, I don't know anything about it. Tommy gets up, takes a beer from the refrigerator, sits back down. He doesn't offer one to Winston. Don't you want to know what was stolen? No, that's none of my business. Maybe you already know what was stolen. Tommy leads forward and shakes his finger at Winston. You yeah. think you're so clever, don't you? All you rich people are the same. You all think you're so clever. I don't know anything about this break-in that, and I don't want to know. It's none of my business. Now get out of my house. Someone stole a cigarette holder from me. A very nice one at that. What? What I want with a cigarette holder. Cigarette holders are... For girls, do I look like a girl? It belonged to a girl, and I think she stole it. And I think you stole it for her. I have my own money. I don't have to steal gifts from my girlfriends. And if it belonged to someone else, why would? You, what were? What were? <laughs> what were you? What were you doing that with? I was holding on to it because it's a clue. Clue? What kind of clue? A clue to Pico's murder. Organ music. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is Tommy uh, deflecting? Do you think so? Uh, from what I'm reading, so he, he know, or he may be the perpetrator. He did actually steal it. He did actually steal it, and yeah. he stole it for yeah. Helen because Helen wanted to get her cigarette holder back because it incriminates her. Mm -hmm. So she had Tommy go and steal it. Okay, mm -hmm. but there's other clues to Tommy's character in here, right? I mean. What kind of person do you think he is? Uh, well, first of all, first things first, he is. Uh, let's not, let's break the off in the room. He has a dick, but um, <laughs> but the way that he like um, you know tries to like uh, deflect the question, you know, was like pretty interesting. Yeah. You no, know, he he didn't want to just like say, oh, yeah, I don't know anything. You rich people are all the same, right? Yeah. So the rich people, what are that when he makes a comment like that? What does that say about him? He's, he's got Warm. issues. He's got issues with Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't go there. We won't go there. <laughs> Let's change Republican to rich people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the rich people. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so, like you said, he has a uh, 
a penis. So, uh, so is he in love with uh, that woman, and that's why he's willing to do no, these No, no, he's or? he's not. Um, he's doing it out of loyalty for Pico. Because uh, Pico liked Helen a lot. They were oh. in in the, in the company in the business. They worked together. They're the ones responsible for the success of the company. Caps off playing polo. Pico and Helen are running the company and making lots of money. So if he's so if he's loyal to Pico, so when Helen and, and comes, this and this thing can incriminate her, why be loyal to Pico when she may be the one who did it? Well, in? Pico's dead. Right, right, right. But she and he doesn't believe it? he doesn't believe that Helen did it. Okay, right. Some reason there could be other reasons there. why her cigarette holder was in his bed. Okay. And, it, and it could have been there for some other time. Right. And, but if the police get it, the police are going to focus in on that, and she becomes prime suspect. I got you. So Helen wants it back. She asks Tommy to get it for her because she knows Tommy is going to be loyal to Pico, even though Pico is dead. So she'll do, he'll do what she asks him to do. All right. And, that's and so, what, obviously, so Winston and Tommy have this odd relationship right because 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 winston because winston pulls up in his rolls royce right his 1963 silver cloud mark three rolls royce that he got in kind of a shady way yeah, as you yeah. get right yeah. uh, he has a chauffeur in a uniform right winston is always dressed perfectly right. i mean dressed to the nines dressed to the nines so tommy right. thinks he's a rich guy mm -hmm. and he but Winston doesn't revolve in the circles of the rich people. Rich right. people ask Winston to get them out of trouble. He's a fixer. But he's so. But to Tommy's eyes, he's part of the rich yeah. crowd. Yeah. High so when he comes society, in, society, right? Society. So when he but comes society. in, there's already this this animosity because he he doesn't know Winston that well. He gets to know him well better later in the book. But at this point, he doesn't know Winston well. He just sees him as, oh, here's another one of those, you know, stuck of all these people from that. Mm. Uh, for crust crowd, and I hate those people. Right, right. Pico was Pico was born in Argentina, worked his way up, so he wasn't born into the into the wealth. Mm -hmm. So that's why he related really well to Pico, okay. and they both had the love of the horses and the love of polo. So, you know, there's that that camaraderie there. Sweet. And uh, mm -hmm. so when Winston comes to see Tommy about this, you know, he it's like he's the enemy. Tommy, okay. Pete, Winston's the enemy. I gotcha. Yeah. Mm. Winston's cool. Winston's cool. And Winston yeah, tries, you know, doing the whole thing is things. cool. You know, even though Tommy's belligerent and all that kind of defense, stuff, Winston defensive, always stays defensive. cool. Like, you know, so it's just a, a lot more uh, defensive? Belligerentness? Yeah, so, you know, you don't like him at all. And I'm a cold cucumber. Right. You're not going to you get me. You're not going to get yeah. me. Gotcha. You don't like him. And then Let's he's not only, you, not only do you not like him, He's accusing you of stealing something, of breaking into his house and stealing something. It's pretty rude. Mm. It's pretty and rude. even though you yeah. did, you know, <laughs> you're going to deny it to the, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you really got to see him. Yeah, you got to really see him offended. Like, how, how could you? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So. Sweet. All right. Thank you for laying that out. Do you want to you give the description again? Yeah. The Tommy pulls a chair from the dining table and sits down. He doesn't offer Winston the chair. Winston sits down on a worn sofa. No. Yeah. What do you want? Someone broke into my house last night and stole a valuable item. So? So I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Why would I know anything about it? Because one of the burglars looked a lot like you. Oh, so you can see in the dark. I can see good enough. I told you. I don't know anything about it. Tommy gets up, takes a beer from the refrigerator, and sits back down. He doesn't offer one to Winston. Don't you want to know what it was? Don't you want to know what was stolen? No, that is none of my business. Maybe you already know what it, what was stolen. Point it. Point the finger at it. Point, point that finger. Put that finger in my yeah. face. You think you're so clever, don't you? All you rich people are the same. You all think you're so clever. I don't know anything about this break-in. And I don't want to know. It's none of my business. Now get out of here, my house. Winston well, stands up. Someone stole a cigarette holder from me. A very nice one at that. What would I want with a cigarette holder? Cigarette holders are for girls. Do I look like a girl? You belong to a girl. I think you stole it for her. I have my own money. I don't have to steal gifts from my girlfriends. If it belongs to someone else, what were you doing with it? I was holding on to it because it's a clue. Clue? What kind of clue? A clue to Pico's murder. 
So here at the end, when he says, because there was a clue, you need to stop and think because you're not expecting him to say that, right? He, he's, I was like, he's like, I was holding on to it because of a clue. Like, oh yeah. Clue? Like what kind of clue? So now the whole thing changes. Tommy's looks at it as different because now he knows that this is related to mm -hmm. Pico's murder. And mm -hmm. so he, he has a shift there and he's, he's, now he's becoming curious. Oh. Right before he's just trying to get rid of him, right? Okay. But now that this what, is what a is, clue, what does Winston know? A clue to so, so he's wanting to know what Winston knows, like he's because because she put him up to stealing this, right? Yeah, cigarette light, cigar, yes. cigarette lighter. And so now it's like, it. oh, I just stole the clue, yeah. But 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 she right. put him up to it, so she yeah, knows. so so but but now I but he, he might not know, know, right? Helen oh. knows that she's, she's oh, like, go, can you go get this for me, yes. Oh, I got you. So Tommy, at this point, may or may not know that this is actually he's just a clue. He doesn't just know got it's pulled a clue. into a crime. You just got pulled into a crime. You're yeah. an accomplice. Yeah. So by <laughs> being, <laughs> yep. you're an accomplice. By oh doing God. what the woman tells you to ask you to do, you get yeah. yourself into trouble. Yeah, into trouble. But uh, cool. let's do it. Oh, yeah, one, one more time. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Hang on a second. Tommy pulls a chair from the dining table and sits down. He doesn't offer Winston a chair. Winston sits down on a worn sofa. Okay. Now, what do you want? Someone broke into my house last night and stole a valuable item. So? So I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Why would I know anything about it? Because one of the burglars looked a lot like you. Oh, so you can see in the dark. I can see good enough. I told you. I don't know anything about it. Tommy gets up, takes a beer from the refrigerator, and sits back down. He doesn't offer one to Winston. Don't you all know it was stolen? No, that is none of my business. Maybe you already know that was stolen. <clears throat> you think you're so clever, don't you? All you rich people are the same. You all think you're so clever. I don't know anything about this break-in, and I don't want to know. It's none of my business. Now get out of my house. Someone stole a cigarette holder from me. A very nice one at that. Why would I want a cigarette holder? Cigarette holders are for girls. Do I look like a girl? It belonged to a girl. I think you stole it for her. I have my own money. I don't have to steal gifts from my girlfriends. And if it belonged to someone else, what were you doing with it? I was holding on to it because it's a clue. Clue? What, what kind of clue? A clue to Pico's murder. Shazam. Mm. Cut. Shazam. <laughs> Very good. Good. Very good. Great. Oh, yeah. So we're going to pull you back in. All right. Camera operator. I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm not. I ran out of dog food. I apologize. That's the excuse. I think you, yeah. I think you hit and run somebody. Come on, man. The cops are going to be here in 10 seconds. Yes, they apologize. will be here. No excuses. Okay. So we're going to throw you right in. Oh, the end. Memorized by the time. You're playing the role of Winston. Winston's a cool guy. There's words in here you're probably going to stumble on because Winston is sophisticated and worldly and he uses language that the rest of us don't use. Okay. So one is Armani, the other you are, one. You want, you want to lose the hoodie so you can see your face. Yeah. I'm not so cold in here, but it'll be okay. It's really cold outside. Yeah. And that word, chassis. And then up here, oh, then there's this uh, haute couture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means high fashion in French. High A lot couture. of French words in here. Haute, haute couture. Haute couture. And then up here, claret and poyac. Larry and Poyak. Poyak, yes. So, because you're so sophisticated, there's French words. And because you're light, we're throwing you right in. All right. And, uh, I'll take your punishment. <laughs> they're throwing the gauntlet. Let's so, go. So, I'll read the description. And then we can go. Champagne mist fills the air as Cap Caspian's polo team celebrates their victory. Helen, Cap's wife, approaches Winston from behind. Well, he finally won it. 
Well, hello, Helen. It's nice to see you. It's it good, good to, to see, see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. She kisses Winston on the cheek, her lips lingering slightly longer on his skin than they would have for a normal caress. Why help? Or, oh, sorry. <laughs> Wearing Armani? Armani. Armani this season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? No, you always quite. And a, or, and a, oh, did I skip one? Oh, yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> And hot couture. Hot couture. Hot couture. Hot couture. Hot couture. Hot couture. At that. Well, of course. Would you expect me to wear anything less? No, you always sport quite a tennis. Chassis. Chassis. Winston, I'm touching. You always know just the right words to say. She again kisses Winston on the cheek. Well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's uh, moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this plastic thing. I would not have missed it for all the chariot. Claret. Claret in well, Poyak. Poyak. You are the only man I know who could come up with a line like that. Oh, wow, you, sorry. <laughs> You're the only woman I know who could understand a line like that. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks, of course. If it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he is one fine polo player. Mm. Among other things. So now I can give you some of the backstory here. That um, Helen is kind of flirty with Winston. But Winston would never do anything with Helen because she's the wife of Cap and they're both their friends. So it's a matter of honor. He would never do anything. So this whole scene, first part of the scene, Helen's kind of flirting with Winston, trying to, to get something out of him, right? To, some some interest or something, but <clears throat> it, it doesn't happen, you know, right? And then so at this part here where she says, I'm glad you could witness Captain Morgan of Glory, she kind of, for a moment, gives up because he's not reacting to her flirting. Correct. So then we have a moment here where there's this kind of revealing lines about their character, right? Who, who would come up with a line like, I wouldn't have missed it for all the claret and Poyak, right? There are very few people in this world who would say, right? It's like, I, it's like, I wouldn't have missed it for all the money in the world. That's what most people would say, or something like that. Yeah. But this is wine. Claret's a wine. Poyak's a wine-growing region in France. So he says he wouldn't miss it for all that wine growing in that region of France. So right there tells you something about his character, right? Yeah. He's, he's not like everybody else. So Helen says, well, you're the only person who could come up with a line like that. And Winston, in, in, in a moment of admiration for Helen, says, well, you're the only woman who could understand a line like that. So yeah. you're just as special as I am, because not only can I come up with a line like that, you can understand it. So that puts them kind of like equals, right? Yes. So then she kind of like makes one last thing where it says, well, it's supposed to be unbearable for weeks, but... It wasn't for Pico, and the thing is, Pico is a, is a top polo player, and the polo teams are just executives from companies, so they're not professional polo players. Pico is really, really, like, top, and the only reason that Cap won this tournament is because Pico is so good. Yeah. So when she says, well, if it wasn't for Pico, she's saying Cap never would have won yeah. this if Pico hadn't been on the team, and... Of course, Winston just playing it straight. Says, yeah, he's a great polo player. But there's rumors around that Helen was having an affair with Pico. So when she says, among other things, right, what does she really mean by <laughs> those yeah. other things, right? Especially since everyone thinks they're having an affair. Yeah. So that's the backstory that was to, pretty crazy. to all of this. So we can do it uh, again now that you know the Yeah, now that I know the backstory. The backstory. Yes. Cool. Champagne mist fills the air as Cap Caspian's polo team celebrates their victory. Helen, Cap's wife, approaches Winston from behind. 
Well, he's finally won it. Winston turns around and faces Helen. He admires her Armani sunglasses. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. She kisses Winston on the cheek, her lips lingering slightly longer on his skin than they would have for a casual caress. Wearing Armani this season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? And play it. Haute couture. Haute couture. At that. Well, of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No, you're always quite. Sorry. No, you always sport quite a. Ch- chassis. Chassis. Oh, Winston, how touching. Is it chassis or chassis? Chassis. 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 It's an English think... word, but it's from a French word. Yeah. So, I feel like a car keep, chassis. Keeping with it. Yeah, exactly. A car chassis. Yeah. You know. This part yeah, of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. This is keeping with the whole French the same generation. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Cool. Um, where do we want to jump in? Oh, Winston, how touching. Winston, how touching. You always know just the right words to say. She kisses Winston on the cheek again. Well, I'm glad you were. I'm glad you could witness Cap's. Moment of glory, you know, as much as wanted to win this blasted thing. I would have not have missed it for all the clair, chair lit, claret, mm-hmm. and polyethic. Polyac. Polyac. You are the only man I know that could come up with a line like that. You're the only woman I know who, who could understand a line like that. Well, I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks, of course. If it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he is one fine polo player. Among other things. So, so uh, we're telling the other one, when you say this line, you're the only person I know who could understand that. Kind of emphasize the understand, right? You're the only person I know who could understand a line like that. Okay. Because she's saying you're the only one that could come up with a line like that. And you're saying you're the only one that could understand a line like that. Okay. So more and more, you're the only woman. Who could understand, understand yeah, a line like exactly. that? Exactly. Emphasize, understand. Okay. And, and among the other things, try playing that like even more, you know. Flirty? Flirty, like oh, okay. among other things, almost like winking the eye. Like, oh, okay. Among other things. Yeah, just see how it works with, with it being even more obvious. Okay. That, you know, yeah. We'll see how. No over time. These French words are. <laughs> yep, yeah, pretty yeah, intense. Yeah, I know you all know. Yeah. It's uh, hard spread. This is from your book, correct? Yeah. Awesome. The second one. The second one, he says. Yeah, the, the one we did before one. was the first first one. This is from the second. So different characters, except for Winston. Okay. Champagne <clears throat> mist fills the air as Cap Caspian's polo team celebrates their victory. Helen, Cap's wife, approaches Winston from behind. Well, he's finally won it. Winston turns around and faces Helen. He admires her Armani sunglasses. Why, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. She kisses Winston on the cheek, her lips lingering slightly longer on his skin than they would have for a casual caress. Wearing Armani this season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice it, would be you, wouldn't it? And I... Hot. 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 Hot couture. Hot couture. At that. Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No. You always sport quite a chess. Chassis. Chassis. Oh, Winston. How touching. You always know just the right words to say. She again kisses Winston on the cheek. Well, I'm glad you were here to witness Cap's final moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted. I would have not have missed it for all the claret and poly. Polyac. You are the only man I know who could come up with a line like that. You're the only woman who could understand that. Or understand a line like that. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he is one fine polo player. Among other things. Nice. Good. 
So you're gonna bring the two gentlemen in. I'm gonna go lock the door upstairs real quick. Okay, fine. There are no French words in this one. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Magnifique. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So please. Okay, so you're Tommy and you're Winston. Tommy pulls a chair from the dining table and sits down. He doesn't offer Winston a chair. Winston sits down on a worn sofa. Now, what do you want? Someone broke into my house last night and stole a valuable item. So? So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Why would I know anything about it? Because one of the burglars look a lot like you. Oh, so you can see in the dark. I can see good enough. I told you, I don't know anything about it. Tommy gets up and takes a beer from the refrigerator and sits back down. He doesn't offer one to Winston. Don't you want to know what was stolen? Nope. It's not, that's none of my business. Maybe you already know what was stolen. I'm going to lean forward and shake his finger at Winston. You think you're so clever, don't you? All you rich people are all the same. You all think you're so clever. I don't know anything about this break-in, and I don't want to know. It's none of my business. Now get out of my house. Someone stole a cigarette holder from me. A very nice one at that. What would I want with a cigarette holder? C a cigarette holder. Cigarette holders are for girls. Do I look like a girl? It belonged to a girl. And I think you stole it from her. I have my own money. I don't have to steal <coughs> gifts for my girlfriends. And if it belonged to someone else, what were you doing with it? I was holding on to it because it is a clue. Clue? What kind of clue? A clue to Pico's murder. Da, da, okay. da. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So you see what's going on in the scene? Yeah. Yeah. So Tommy's boiling point. He he start his temper just rises to this whole thing, right? So it's the first thing is like, what do you want? And as the scene goes on, he's getting more and more irritated, more and, until finally at this thing here, where you think you're so clever, he's, he's had enough. This, yeah. this, this is his rant, right? And then he tells him to get out, and Winston stands up to leave, but then Winston, before he leaves, does this last thing. Yeah. And you know when he says clue, suddenly all that anger shifts, and it's like anger to curiosity into what's going on. Mm -hmm. So if you can, build up the intensity as you go. And this is the emotional peak okay. for Tommy. Mm -hmm. This is the point this where he's where just he's... like, yeah, okay, yeah. I've had it, you rich people, whatever, get out of my house, type of thing. <laughs> and then so and Winston's about to do that. But before he leaves, he has this last thing. And, mm -hmm. and that changes it all. Once, once, he hears the clue, once he gets to the point of the clue, Tommy, his, his whole attitude changes. Okay. Right. But yeah, see if you can just build up the intensity of the emotions until you get to that rich people. Okay, line. so I'm not, okay, I'm gonna ask you this question. So mostly when it's like he's like it's none of my business, just yeah. act like do I act like upset about it or do I just Yeah, act you're like starting to like, eh. you're starting to by the be time, you know especially when he says, Because one of the burglars looked a lot like you, oh you can see in the dark. You do that really well because it's really sarcastic, right? Yeah. But now you're now he says, yeah, I, I can see good know. enough. I told you that line. I told you I don't know anything about it. That's you ratchet up. Yeah. In emotion. Now you're getting even more beer. irritated, and annoyed with him, right? And then, you know, it's like maybe you already know it was stolen. Uh -huh. That's you know, that's what gets you to the rich people line. And this is that's ratchet up again. That's yeah. that's your highest level of irritation and annoyance and anger with this guy. Right. It's like okay, you came to my house. I didn't invite you here. You accuse me of stealing something, and you know I've just had it. Okay. You know, 
Makes sense. I think you, you're you a rich person. You look like a rich person. You're the enemy because Pico came from a different thing. I'm yeah. more like Pico. I'm, you know, working class. You're upper class, and I don't like you. Okay. Right? Tommy doesn't like Winston at all, you know, and he's, he shows it. The anger keeps building up until here, and then here suddenly it's the anger flips. It was like anger to curiosity. Yeah, like, okay, what is that clue? What is that? Yeah. What did Helen get me into, right? Yeah. At this point, it's like, what did Helen get me into? Up to here, he's denying. He did actually steal it for Helen. So, but he's right. denying it all. And it's like, no, 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 I'm, you didn't do this. You, you, you're accusing me. I didn't do it. And he gets really mad. And then that last line is, totally flips like, wait a second. Did Helen get me into something? Yeah. <laughs> right? So that's, yeah. that's what's going on. So the play really just build up, build up the intensity, build up the anger, and, and frustration to that point. And then when you're, uh, you know, you're still angry here, like, what would I want a cigarette holder, right? I, I, it's for girls. And he says, I have my own money. I don't need to do that stuff. You, so you're, you're still at this high, you hit the peak right here, and you stay in that peak until he says clue. And when he says clue, huh. suddenly, you know, that, that anger just, <laughs> and it's like, oh, my gosh. Did she set me up? Did she get me into something I shouldn't be in? Involved? So that's that's really the the beat in this in this okay. scene is like, bam. But up to that mm. point, you just you're getting madder and madder and yeah. madder, and you know, up to that point. Okay. So see if you can just kind of try to <laughs> switch you know, roles. Keep that. Now he's still playing Tommy, but then he's gonna yeah. try to. Uh, just have a quick question yeah. on the scene here. So when uh, Winston stands up, do I stand up and uh, go to the door, or do I no, stand? no, you're you're standing up because you're about to go to the door. Oh, okay. But before you do that, you have to deliver this last, last thing, this last okay. job, right? Yes. And this is the thing that really gets Tommy. Okay. And switches the whole scene. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking about this. Coming in and sitting down. So, so you're annoyed at this point, but now you're getting more than annoyed as you go through here. And when he says, you know, the bird will look like you, you're getting mad, yeah. right? And then when he says, maybe you already know what it is, you're getting really, 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 really mad. And that's when you, you know, says, you know, you, you lose it. And you, you know, go on a rant about rich people. Okay. Right. Yeah. And that carries you all the way through until the, the last, your last line clue what kind of clue at that point you know all that anger and stuff is, is gone yeah right so it's like, like oh what like, am I wait a second wrong here? <laughs> yeah <laughs> was i set up yeah right? okay type of thing okay yeah. he's on a frame no he's not he's, not, he's in yeah good job so tommy pulls a chair from the dining table sits down he doesn't offer winston the chair winston sits down on the sofa now what do you want Someone broke into my house last night and stole a valuable item. So? So I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Why would I know anything about it? Because one of the burglars looked a lot like you. Oh, so you can see in the dark. I can see good enough. I told you. No, no, no. Sit down. Oh, just ramp it up. Sorry. <laughs> I told you. I don't know anything about it. Tommy gets up, takes a beer from the refrigerator, sits back down. He doesn't offer one to Winston. Don't you want to know what was stolen? No, that's none of my business. Maybe you already know what was stolen. You think you're so clever, don't you? All you rich people are all the same. You all think you're so clever. I don't know anything about the break-in. And I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's none of my business. Now get out of my house. So, someone stole a cigarette holder from me. A very nice one at that. What would I want a cigarette holder? Cigarette holders are for girls. Do I look like a girl? It belonged to a girl. 
And I think you stole it from her. For her. Or for her. I have my own money. I don't have to steal gifts for my girlfriends. And if I and if it belonged to someone else, what were you doing with it? I was holding on to something. Because it was a clue. Clue? What kind of clue? A clue to Pico's murderer. So, where is it? And when you stand up, just don't don't move. You're, you he doesn't move. He just stands oh, up. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, okay. Let's see. Like I, I kind of went up and down on that. Yeah. On that speech, a... didn't I? Yeah. You can Sure. You're just fine job. So when you say, and if it belonged to oh, someone else. What are you doing with it? Oh, we're I'm very focused. What are you doing with right? it? So yeah. that's the... So it's like, what are you, what are you doing with it? You don't yeah. Know. Like, yeah. like belongs to someone else. What are you doing with it? Okay. You know, yeah, I kind of... That's where I kind of messed up to. I was like... But he sets you up for this, right? So he's like, you know, what are you doing with it? And then, then he comes in with that line. No, it's because it's a clue. And then that's what, you know... So he's, he's led you into this this thing so it's kind of like you know the, the cigarette he because at this point he doesn't know that it was a cigarette holder right this is the first yeah. time he mentioned cigarette holder so he's at this point he's setting you up yeah and you and you're just like you know what am i doing with the cigarette holder and you know belong to a girl i think you stole it for her and mm. then he you know, says no like what if you know belong to someone else what are you doing with it Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I have it because it was a clue. It was like, bong. Okay, I, I see yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah. And if it belonged to somebody else, who, what are you doing with it? Yeah, Before exactly. Alright. Yeah. Do one more time? Sure. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. You guys can just do the action. You don't, I don't have to read it if you're going to do the action. Okay. To just yeah. yeah, coming in, pull up a chair, sit down. Now, what do you want? <clears throat> Someone broke into my house last night and stole a valuable item. So, so I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Why would I know anything about it? Because one of the burglars looked. A lot like you. <laughs> so, now you can see in the dark? I can see good enough. I told you, I don't know anything about it. Tommy gets up, takes a beer from the refrigerator, sits back down. He doesn't offer one to Winston. Don't you want to know what was stolen? No. It's none of my business. Maybe you already know what was stolen. You think you're so clever, don't you? All you rich people are the same. You all think you're so clever. I don't know a thing about this break-in and I don't wanna know. It's none of my business. Get out of my house. Someone stole a cigarette holder from me. A very nice one at that. What would I want a cigarette holder? What would I want with a cigarette holder? Cigarette holders are for girls. Do I look like a girl? It belonged to a girl. And I think you stole it for her. I have my own money. I don't have to steal gifts for my girlfriends. And if it belonged to someone else, what are you doing with it? Hmm. I was wondering, I was holding on to it because it is a clue. Clue? What kind of clue? A clue to Pico's murder. Good. Okay. Feeling what's yeah, I felt I felt better in that one. I felt a little bit better on that one. That's good. Felt a little bit smoother. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. And and there's there's this is a kind of a large a block of text, but here once you know it better, this is where you really need to be expressing that Impressing anger more. You yeah, know, because you're you're fed up. <laughs> He's just like all I'm the other done. rich people. They think they're smart, but they don't know anything. Okay, because so you mean more like gestures, like kind of like more ups, like more upset. You're, yeah, you know, you're like, language and everything. Yeah, and, and it's like he you know, so now get out of my house. You're really you're. This is all leading up to throwing him out of the house. You don't want him here, you know, and, you know, it's like maybe you already know what was stolen. You know, that that's yeah. that is basically, again, accusing you. You don't you want you don't want to know because you already know because you took it. Right. And that just sends you off at this point. Sorry, it's like, you know, Next you think you're so you clever, this. don't you? Right. It's like, like, you think you're so clever, don't you? Well, you rich people are the same. You don't think you're so clever. Well, I don't know anything about this break-in, and I don't want to know. It's none of my business. Now get out of my house, right? Only well, you can even amp it up more than that, right? Because you're you're mad. You're throwing him out. Yeah. And Winston, this whole time, you just need to play this real cool. You know, like you know, someone stole a cigarette holder from me. Very nice one at that. And he's like, well, why would I want to know that? And this, but this is the first time you're hearing about it now now i hear you know yeah. that winston knows that you took a cigarette holder right not only is he accusing you of stealing something now we're getting specific and you know that you stole a cigarette holder yeah right and he's saying okay someone stole it from me and so what your your defense to that is, is why would i want it you know you're still yeah. you're still Still like denying that you you're guilty, even though you know you are, but you're coming up with an excuse like, why would I want a cigarette holder, right? And <clears throat> you know, you bring him up to the girl. Well, Winston, he's a sharp guy. What's he gonna do? He's gonna say, well, it belonged to a girl. It belonged to Helen, right? It belonged to a girl, yeah. and I think you stole it for her, right? Yeah. So I'm he said, when you say that line, you think you stole it for her. Mm. Make sure that the that the viewers catch that that you're accusing him of stealing it for Helen. Right, right, and then mm-hmm. again, you're you're denying it. He says, "Well, I have my own money. I don't have to steal things like that for girls." Right, and then it's like you know, and if it belonged to someone else, what are you doing with it? Yeah. Right, so you just right there, you stepped into it, and he says, oh, "I was holding it because it was a clue." And you're like, what? <laughs> okay. So let's do this. So let's you, you do a couple more. Okay. All right, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. All right, cool. So you want to be my cameraman? Sure. Yeah. I did such a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just. Uh, you got better over each time. I'm trying my best. I'm, like I said, I'm, but you know, when you, I'm, I'm new at this. I'm fairly. So you, when you fairly see new. something for the first time. All right, you want to grab a cereal? Yeah, you've got it. Yes, let's watch the pros. So you, I'm you see it in the French words. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah. I'm sitting in my father's chair, everybody. Okay. That's nice. Awesome. Papa chair. All right. Okay. So we'll do this a couple times. You ready? You ready? Yeah. You ready, Helen? Yes, Champagne Winston. mist fills the air as Cap Caspian's polo team celebrates their victory. Helen, Cap's wife, approaches Winston from behind. Well, he's finally won it. Well, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Winston. She kisses Winston on the cheek, her lips lingering slightly longer on his skin than they would have for a casual caress. Wearing a money this season, I see. You noticed. But if anyone would notice, it would be you. Wouldn't it? And hot couture at that. Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No, you always sport quite a chassis. Oh, Winston, how touching. You always say, you always have just the right words to say. She again kisses Winston on the cheek. Well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I would have missed it up for all the claret and poya. You are the only man I know who could come up with a line like that. And you're the only woman I know that could understand a line like that. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks, of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he's one fine pile. 
Well, I'm gonna have some pollo after this, so I think that's why it's on my mind. Um, a Spanish trip chicken. Yes. Okay, so uh, yes, he's one fine polo player, among other things. One fine chicken. That's one fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, if, if it wasn't for Pico. Yeah, how do I? I don't. That, that line that's is like, weird for me. That it's like. He's, Cap's going to be unbearable for weeks because he won. Yes, right? I get that part. But he wouldn't have won if Pico hadn't been on the team because it was Pico who almost single-handedly How won the game for How would you say it? Can I hear you say it? I would say, of course, if it wasn't for Pico. So can you say the whole thing? Yeah. I suppose it will be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. He would have never won the thing. Like that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what? Oh, one yeah. more time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Okay, Mr. Pollo. It's <laughs> 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 our mascot. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay. I go on, I go on Several people have done that. I go on, yeah. Just you. Yeah. All right, cool. Hey, remember, this is all the words in here are French. We don't want to put no Spanish in there as well. No Spanish in there. Okay. Champagne mist fills the air as cap. Caspian's polo team celebrates their victory. Helen's Cap's wife approaches Winston from behind. Well, he's finally won it. Well, hello, Helen. It's good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too, Winston. She kisses Winston on the cheek, her lips lingering slightly longer on his skin than they would have for a casual caress. Wearing Armani this season, I see. You noticed, but... If anyone would notice, it would be you, wouldn't it? And Hug could sure at that. Of course. Would you expect anything less from me? No, you always sport quite a chassis. Oh, Winston, how touchy. You always know just the right words to say. She again kisses Winston on the cheek. Well, I'm glad you could witness Cap's moment of glory. You know how much he's wanted to win this blasted thing. I wouldn't have missed it for all the clarity and poyak. You are the only man I know that could come up with a line like that. The only woman I know who could understand a line like that. I suppose it'll be unbearable for weeks. Of course, if it wasn't for Pico. Yes, he's one fine polo player. Among other things. (laughs) And that's a wrap.